Hello and welcome back. We're going to look at some other features in Google Forms. Because once you've created a form in Google Forms, the next thing you may want to do is turn it into a quiz. And the great reason for doing this is that it means that then you can have something that is self-marking, which hopefully will save you as a teacher some time. So assuming you've made your quiz, the next thing you want to do is go into settings. And the very last option here is quizzes. And we're going to slide this across and say make this a quiz. You get some options then for your quiz. Um, one is when we release the mark, and that's whether it's immediately after submission or later. And so it depends if you want to review that or not, or if you want them to know their mark straight away. The next one is what the respondents can see, and that's whether they've got missed questions, correct, what the correct answers are, and the points. Um, one of the reasons particularly why you might not want the correct answers thing ticked is then if they have the answers, they might then give that to one of their friends. So you might want to leave that unticked. So if we click Save and it's made it into a quiz, now you don't see much change at the moment, but then what we need to do is click on a question, and the difference we'll see at the bottom is this here called an answer key. If we click on the answer key, the first thing it goes to is this, where it says zero points. And this is where we're assigning the point value for the question. So this question we're going to do one point. Then what we'll do is select the right answer. And so if this one is London. The next thing to do is to add some feedback. is isn't necessary, but you can do it if you want. So you can enter some feedback. So I think you should have known this. Let me just correct my typo. Um, what you also see there is a little link. If I click on this, it allows me to link to something. So in this scenario, if I had a link to a website, I can put that in there and I can see this was a link to Capitals of the World. And I can add this in so then they can see this as part of their follow-up. Obviously what you could also do is add a link to a Google Doc. So if you in your Google Drive and you had a document that you wanted them to follow up on, particularly if they've got the answer wrong, I could get a shareable link. Let's copy it to my clipboard and therefore I can go in, add a link and I can add that in and they can access that Google document as well. Obviously if I want to also put in a correct answer and I can add my comments and then click save. So what you can do is then do this for all of the, your questions. At the moment though, there are some limitations for this. So this question we have here is a short answer question. That means that we can't assign an answer key to it. So if you're going to have short answer uh, questions, you won't be able to add the right answer in. So you might just need to miss those out or choose a different format for your questions. So again, let's just go over that again. So I'm going to put in my answer key for this question. At one point, oh no, I'm going to add four points because there's four different correct answers. So I'm going to select multiple answers. And that's there. Again, I could add feedback if I wanted. When we look at some of the other options we've got here, different types of questions, again, adding a file, you can't add an answer key for this, or something like a linear scale. And if you go into the answer, there's no uh, way of adding a correct answer to that. So really when you're thinking about adding answer keys, the thing that you're, the type of questions that you're looking for are your multiple choice, your checkbox, and your drop down. So again, which one here? I'm going to do an answer key. And I'm going to select the right answer and add a point. So let's just have a look at what this looks like in our preview. So I'm going to click on preview here. And so which of these is part of Great Britain, Wales, England, Scotland, Northern Ireland? 
what is the capital of England? I'm put in London. So I'm just going to add the rest of the answers quickly. So what you see then, once I've taken the quiz, I can click on view your score and it will take me into this and show me which ones I've got right. And so as you can see, there is my feedback. So this allows the students to get immediate feedback. And also, if you've done a quiz that is purely with self-marking questions, that means when you export the information into your spreadsheet back in here, it will just give you the final score for all the uh, quizzes and you won't have to go and mark those yourself. So great time saver. I hope you have found this video helpful. We have many more training videos on our training site and YouTube channel. You can also email us with any queries.